everybody, I'm Maria, and today I'm going to be talking about how commercials make their food look delicious. But in reality, it's nothing like what they make it look like in the commercials. And in most cases, it looks worst in reality. So let's go over some of the food commercials. Oh, so here's how they do the french fries. They take a sponge, put toothpick in there, and then put french fries in the toothpick to make it look all perfect and pleasing, like this. But in reality, this is how it is. Here's the next one, burgers. So they use a hair dryer to melt each slice of cheese and toothpick to hold everything in place and a makeup sponge to give the burger some height. Vegetable oil to make it look shiny and delicious. And then syringe of ketchup. Wow, it looks so delicious and yummy. And this is how it looks in reality. The burgers that we see in the picture look so much different than in reality. Here's the next one. Oh, pancakes. Who doesn't like pancakes? We all love pancakes, right? So let's see how they photo shoot pancakes. They use cardboard to stack them up nicely. Oh, which gives them some height. Now look what, a mortar oil? Seriously, instead of maple syrup, they use mortar oil. Oh no! Why, why, why? That's not edible. Why do you want to use mortar oil with pancakes? And that's simply because mortar oil doesn't absorb into pancakes. And maple syrup gets absorbed by pancakes even before you eat it. So it's easier for them to use mortar oil, which makes the pancake look so fresh and yummy. But that's not how it should be. You know how I eat pancakes? I just take my syrup in a separate bowl and just dip my pancake in the syrup and then eat it. It's much better, right? Here's the next one. Oh look, what? They're using a cardboard inside of a cake just to make it look pick. Oh, and then they put frosting over the cardboard. Wow, oh I just hope it's frosting and not shaving cream. Now here we have a pizza. What, a nail in a pizza? And now what, they're mixing glue and mozzarella? Why, 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 why? Why do we need glue in our food? Oh my God, oh, okay. So that's how they make it look so cheesy and stretchy. In reality, it's never that cheesy. I mean, look at it. The commercial pizza feels like it has extra cheese on it, which is not even a cheese. It's a glue. Here's the next one. Oh, now here's another burger hack. So they heat up a rod, so that's how they make it look it's perfectly cooked or barbecued. They put that hot rod on the right spot to make it look so real. And then of course, toothpick to add height. Look at it, it looks so good. You just want to eat it. But then this is what you get in reality. Lies, lies, lies. So here we got some shaving cream and what are they doing with it? Oh, got it. They used it as a replacement for whipped cream. What an easy way to get swirl. And it doesn't even melt. And this is how we see the cakes on the ads. And they look so tempting because of what? Shaving cream. Oh my God. Here's another one. Now what are they doing over here? Putting a small bowl in a bowl of soup. Why? Oh, so that they could put the garnishes on top so that they don't sink to the bottom. And what we get is sinking garnishes in reality when we have our soup. Now look at this ice cream commercial. It's full of nothing but lies. Corn syrup, shortening, food coloring. They mix it all up to look like Play-Doh. And there's a perfect ice cream for the commercial. Now they do that because it doesn't melt. But if they have real ice cream during photo shoot, it's gonna melt. So to have a picture perfect ice cream, this is what they do. Here's another one. Oh, a cereal commercial. Well, let's see how they trick us now. Oh, it looks so good and so healthy. But in reality, that's not how it looks. For commercials, they don't use milk because milk makes cereal soggy. So you know what they do for commercials? 
So I think they take a mold, with jello on it, and then put glue on it, and place each piece of cereal on it. This way the cereal doesn't get soggy and sink to the bottom. Can you imagine that? And that makes it look like a nice bowl of cereal that you want to have first thing in the morning. But in reality, this is how it looks like with milk. Oh yes, seedless watermelons. You know when you buy those seedless watermelons? They still have seeds in it. I mean, I personally have never seen a watermelon without seeds in it. Either it's black or white. So why do they have to put that label on it that it's a seedless watermelon? Why? Why, why? Here's a fun fact about apples. Apples are covered in wax because it keeps them shiny and prevents them from going bad. So you should always wash your apples with lukewarm water before eating them. Now here's an easy way to find out if the honey is real or fake. Even though it has nothing to do with commercials, but I just wanted to share this with you. So here we have some fake honey mixed with cold water and then just squish it around and then you will see honey is diluted with sugar. Okay, nothing weird, right? But now let's see what happens when you use natural honey. So you mix natural honey with cold water, squish it around, and you'll see the honeycomb. Isn't that cool or what? I really like this. So now you see all the food ads that we see on the TV is full of lies. You know, I wasn't sure if I was doing commercial versus real food vlog or edible versus inedible food vlog. <laughs> I mean, all that lies and fake presentation just to make the food look good, but in reality, it's totally the opposite. Now, smash that like button if you agree with me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Always stay amazing and keep watching Amazing Aria. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!